Precision Agriculture Today and Development Trends. I prepared this information for agriculture university students, teachers and everyone who works in the agriculture sphere. Today I would like to present modern technology of precision agriculture, which we use in Russia. As you know, Russia is a big country, lots of nationalities live here. The nature is perfect, there are taiga, steppes, glasslands, foresters and fields of course. Can you imagine, nowadays in Russia there are about 400 million hectares of agriculture fields. And of course, agriculture is a very important part of Russian economics. According to Vladimir Putin's decree of 7th May uh, 2018, uh, the spheres like a social sphere, transport, energy sector and agriculture have to improve by digital technologies and according to the plan uh, 2013 of the governments of Russia, for the next 10 years, the spheres which I have mentioned above have to include elements of digital economics like big data and Internet of Things. Our university is one of the members of the working team. In 2016, the Center of Precision Agriculture in Cuban State Agrarian University was created by the Ministry of Agriculture. You are welcome our website or YouTube channel to find more information or contact us if you have any questions. There you can see our team, published materials and more useful information. And a few words about our center. Today we have several classrooms with labs, I mean elements of precision agriculture. Lots of students and farmers have the opportunity to learn how technologies work. Also, we have special softwares. Using uh, the source softwares, agronomists can see the situation on the fields by the satellites or drones images. They can create digital maps of their fields and create a map of differential spraying. I think uh, we will make some videos about our equipment a bit later. Also, I would like to mention the main events in agriculture development. There are some historical parts in agriculture which have changed this sphere. First step, the beginning of the agricultural mechanization. Next, the beginning of tractors production. Uh, and next, first power take of shaft for farm implement. It was very important. And next, first agricultural tractor with hydraulic lift, first tractor with rubber tires, first self propelled combine by muscle harris, and production of industrial electronic appliance for agricultural machinery. Uh, of course, very important was using GPS for navigation, yield monitoring, and mapping, and uh, position system with accuracy of one or two meters by John Deere and today we know about position system, positioning system with an accuracy of two centimeters and less. And a bit terminology. In Russia we call it digital agriculture or precision agriculture or smart farming etc. And what do we mean? Precision agriculture is the integrated agricultural production system including elements of precision farming and livestock production. Precision farming is integrated agricultural production system based on the achievements of information technologies, the use of automatic control and regulation of tractors and agricultural machines and equipments, sensors technology and the general computerization of all agricultural ma management processes and aimed at uh, optimizing agricultural technologies and stabilizing the productivity of agrocenosis with a minimal negative impact of the environment. Precision livestock, livestock farming is an integrated agricultural production system including all animal husbandry processes which creates opportunities for cost-effective fulfillment of new equipments for it with the help of modern technologies. Now you can see the structure of digital agriculture and it includes 
crop production, animal husbandry, fish farming, reprocessing and storage, breeding and genetics. The base of digital agriculture are models of end-to-end -end processes of agriculture, production and marketing. There are two structures of precision agriculture. One of them is precision, precision farming and next precision livestock farming. And some more details about precision farming. Uh, first point, an accurate measure of fields area. There is, you can see the map like old one, but today farmers try to accurate measurement of fields area because it's important for fertilizer. And next, local soil sampling. Information about every square meter and according to Russian laws, farmers need to do soil sampling every five years. But today the situation is changing. Farmers try to control the quality of the soil every year in different parts. They used to do it by hand, but today we have lots of machines for that. Farmers keep track by GPS and they use automatic hydraulic samplers. Selected and labeled samples are transferred to a credit agro, uh, agrochemical laboratory for analysis. The list of parameters determined in the laboratory includes a wall range of indicators necessary for assessing the degree of soil supply with plant nutrient elements like nitrogen, uh, potassium, H, magnesium, and etc. And the next important thing is precision seed drills. A rapid and event emergency provides the crop with considerably higher competitiveness against weeds. Uh, this is uh, especially important as more herbicide resistant weeds are on their uh, increase. The rapid and even emergency uh, leads to lower evaporation at a time with, when the access uh, to moisture is most structural. Parallel autonomous driving system, the most useful thing in Russia. With the introduction of the precision farming technologies in agriculture production, the use of parallel driving system has become the most de demanded direction. Compared with uh, conventional machine tractor control, the use of parallel driving system during technological operations eliminates second-hand processing of adjacent passages and passes of untreated sections, increases productivity and comfort, uh, reduce driver uh, fatigue and reduce fuel uh, consumption and technological materials and carry out work uh, at any vi uh, visibility at, at night. At the same time, uh, various driving models are provided along straight and curious paths. There are three options for the implementing and par uh, parallel driving system. The movement of the tractor is uh, adjusted by the driver with the help of the uh, steering wheel focusing on the reading of the LED of a graphic truck indicator located in the cab. The direction of movement of the tractor is supported by a thruster with a drive from an electrical mon uh, motor which is mounted on the uh, steering column. The tractor movement is adjusted by an uh, executive mechanism connected to the uh, steering hydraulic system. Satellite tracking and monitoring. Control of farm vehicles is important too. There is equipment of monitoring systems. As monitoring objects can be any vehicles, for example, tractors of combines. And now in real time, we can see uh, there is a tractor. Uh, we can control speed, we can control uh, fuel, we can control driver, and uh, all of uh, this in real time.
differentiate technologies like spraying, fertilizing, sowing, irrigation and tillage. Differentiate the application, the process of applying materials like seeds, fertilizer, plant production uh, to the soil with a variable dose. Calculated on the basis of analysis of soil fertility uh, and or, or the state of crops. And very important to see a you know, real situation on a field. Often agronomists can't control all fields for different reasons, but by satellite it's possible today. As I said before, positioning system with an accuracy of 10 or less centimeters. And uh, monitoring of crop uh, condition using remote sensing by drones or by satellites. Satellite imagery um, it's possible, but some problems can turn up because the quality depends on the weather. And uh, we often can't take images because of clouds, but we need to make a decision. And drones imagery. Today it's possible to use two types of drones, rotor wings and fixed wings. A pilot always has to pay attention uh, to battery, camera and wind. Using drones we can easily design a map of NDVI or RGB maps. Uh, next technology, next uh, the next type of technology is the yield monitoring system and field yield map. This is a technique in agriculture of using GPS data to analyze variables such as crop yield and moisture content, content uh, in a field. This data produced a yield map that can be used to compare yield distribution within the field from year to year. This allows farmers to determine areas of the field that, for example, may need to be more heavy irrigated or uh, not yielding any crop at all. Electrical conductivity is a function of soil density, which determines texture, moisture content, soil solution conductivity and temperature. Soil conductivity measurement has long been used in agriculture to determine the soil uh, content in highly silent soils. And um, next uh, big part of our election, it's precision livestock farming. Precision livestock farming is a general equivalent for all animal production processes, which creates opportunities for the cost-effective uh, fulfillment of new equipments using modern technology. Electronic identification of individual animals or groups of contents, registration of data on processes and products information processing. Information technology is distributed uh, the production process, including all on dairy farms. The slide so shows an um, example of a computer computerized dairy farm. The main trend of modern animal husbandry is the general optimization and mechanization of the main production processes for the keeping cattle. The automated system collects data about each animal, uh, forms in database and issues reports and the request of specialists. The system consists of uh, the sensors that collect data about each animal and the milking uh, parlor and send information to the program installed on the computer. It registers their uh, collected information about each animal in a database analyzed uh, it and issues uh, reports according to the request from farm specialists. Isolate information from one sensor at one process level as a rule uh, doesn't provide a sufficient uh, basis for um, decisions. The data up, uh, obtained must uh, be systematically accumulated, stored and prepared decisions based on them in cooperation. With data of other levels of data update at different time periods. At the same time, information is available that is uh, available in the dairy industry, and not only at these agricultural enterprises of farm. Process management, uh, herd management, farm compression, 
uh, tribal evolution uh, or uh, regional and national reg uh, registers are different tasks that should be carried out on a single database. Crawls are identified using transponders, the information from which is the read uh, out uh, at identification gates or feed uh, stations. Thanks for this, an individual records of each call is kept. This allows you to take into account individual parameters and control cow milk yield. Uh, the need for uh, concentrative uh, feeding and also allows you to monitor veterinary service and is necessary to send the cows for uh, treatment. Milk and point controllers allow you to monitor cow productivity. Thus, the efficiency of milk production is increased both by individual parameters and by group indicators. Of interest is the innovative technology for managing livestock. The new equipment in automatic mode under the control of specialized software determines the parameters of uh, fitness of the livestock information of each diary call uh, is entered into the personal card of the animal. With automatic milking system, uh, the wall design in production and technical concept of cow sheets is uh, also changing. The purpose of the system is the realization of keeping animals more close to the natural conditions, which uh, don't adapt to the typical uh, environment established by a person but can independently go without milk and operation control. At the same time, the operator can perform other animal care operation and there is no need to control the animals during milking. Automated control and monitoring system provide farmers with full control over farm conditions 24 hours a day and 7 days a week. The systems are based on the most advanced technologies for measuring uh, precipitation, humidity, temperature, lighting, and much more. Data uh, updated from these systems is uh, transmitted to farmers in real time or used to automatically activate technological processes. This is all information uh, today. Thank you for your attention. Uh, attention. Uh, if you need to contact us, Please use the information. Thank you so much. Bye.